This is a video tutorial regarding your midterm study guide. So we'll go over both parts of the exam here and talk to you about what's expected of you for the exam itself, okay? Uh, first, let's talk about our schedule. Um, the week of March 30th, uh, this coming week, is your spring break week. So there's no instruction that week. The only assignment you have is the second post for your discussion board number two, your two responses to your fellow students. Other than that, there's no chapter assigned, there's no definition assignment, nothing else for you to do but have a spring break. Uh, the week of April 6th when you come back will be your midterm exam. So all we're going to be doing that week is the midterm exam. There's nothing else planned. So you can choose to take the week of the 30th off and then come back on the 6th and, and study hard for your midterm for a few days, even four or five days and take it as late as Sunday. Okay. Uh, understand that there's two parts of the midterm exam, part one, multiple choice. You're going to have 40 minutes for that, 40 minutes to answer 40 questions. So let's go ahead and keep talking about this part one. That's that's the term section. So here you see the, the terms that you've done, your definition assignments you've done all semester. Uh, there's a purpose behind those um, assignments because that's where the questions come from for your midterm exam and final. So I've taken the lists of each chapter and reduced them to a more manageable uh, number. So here you see that each each chapter has been reduced um, as far as from the books. So when you when you study the for the midterm, study the terms off this list, not the book, but use the book for information, of course, to to back up uh, to to study about that that particular term or that particular person. Okay. Um, the midterm exam will be 40 questions, and you'll have 40 minutes to finish that. So. That's, that's more than sufficient time to do this. Most people finish this exam in 20 to 25 minutes. If you've done your due diligence and studied each term and you know them, you've been doing, it, doing them all year and you've been studying those, you now have a reduced list to study from, so it shouldn't be that, that difficult, okay? So 40 minutes is plenty of time. If you, if you need more than that, then you probably haven't put in the time to study like you should have, okay? Okay, so... Each chapter, as you see, is reduced, chapter 15 through 16, 17, so on, all the way through 23, okay? Uh, so there you go. That's the first part of the midterm exam, okay? Okay, the second part is the essay questions that come from the supplemental lectures below or the eight lectures presented in class. Let's look at those. The list here at the bottom in bold, bold font. Check cropping, clash of cultures, how the West was won, were women safe in the workplace? Did the progressive era save America? Assassinations, America has a violent history. Teddy Roosevelt and the War of 1898, the demise of the KKK. <clears throat> That's the eight that were given. The, uh, the actual um, exam will be reduced to six. So here we're right here, reduced to six for the exam. Choosing from that remaining six, you will write three essays of your choice, okay? So when I, when I say an essay, what are we talking about? We're talking about a review. You're, you're writing a review. Very important you understand this. I've said it uh, many times, but people don't hear me. So understand what I'm saying. I'm not asking you to take these subjects and go on to Google and do a research project. That's not the assignment. The assignment is to review what I said in the lecture. So write a brief introduction. I gave you that. It should be in your outline, and you should have all the outlines at this point, okay? Um, I, I, so go to your outline, go to introduction, and I'm telling you what it is. So I'm making this pretty easy for you. But So write a brief introduction and describe the main points. So people, where people make mistakes uh, or make a mistake is they jump over the introduction and start with the main points. Don't, don't do that. Give me a brief intro first, then describe the main points. So when I say describe the main points, I don't mean relist them from the outline. Take the outline and look at each one, but give me some information about each one. So this this will be the body of your paper for the most part. Okay, the intro short, the relevance short, the main points are, is the main body of your paper. Describe the main points of each subject is given to you in the lecture in the supplemental lecture. So I've I've given this to you. This shouldn't be difficult. Explain the relevance of the Subject as given to you in the lecture, so I've given you that also. If you want to write it down for word for word, that's fine, but make sure that it's clear that I can see that you have put the relevance in. If you want to put relevance and underline it, that's perfectly fine. If you want to do, write it word for word, like I said, that's fine too. If you want to put it in your own words, that's fine too, as long as you get the gist of what the relevance is, okay? You have an unlimited amount of time to complete these essays. Uh, don't misunderstand that. I, I've 
but I've changed it from the 60 minutes. I'm going to leave it open-ended. But don't misunderstand the point here. That doesn't mean you have all day to write a 20-page essay. That's not what I'm looking for. A, a, a uh, concise and short essay is what I'm, it doesn't shouldn't take that long. It was a 10 or 15-minute lecture. It shouldn't take you three pages. Many, many very effective uh, reviews have been half to one page long. So you don't need to do that much more. It shouldn't take you more than 10 or 15 minutes to write these. It's not an open ended invitation to go on and on and on about something. I want you to review the lecture, what I said in the lecture, okay? Uh, you can use your supplemental lecture notes in the class. I have no problem with that. That's what I'm looking for. That's what you would do if you wrote a review. We, I use the analogy of you and your friend going to see your favorite speaker and your friend got sick. Remember that? And your friend said, please go to the lecture and write down everything he says I, I need to know. And you did that and come back. You then didn't go on to the Internet and add a whole bunch of things, right? You took your notes that you got from your lecture and you gave them to your friend. That's what you're doing here. Take your supplemental lecture notes and, and uh, write your essay. So again, Google will not help you. Uh, I, I'm not asking you to research the subject. I'm asking you to restate to me what I said about these subjects. This information will not be found on the internet. Please write this assignment as an essay, not a list of bullet points or fragmented sentences. It's, an, it's a college level essay, okay? And again, no maximum or, or minimum or maximum length. Uh, but again, uh, less is better because I'm not looking for a whole lot of detail. Just tell me what I said. Your grade will be determined by how much detail you provide and your understanding of the subject. Okay. Okay. If you so so again, part one, part two, part one, multiple choice, forty questions, forty minutes. Part two, essay questions from the supplemental lectures. Open-ended time. There's no time limit. Uh, but please be be uh, simple, concise, and and to the point. We don't need a lot of detail without question. Not extra detail that wasn't given to you in the lecture itself, okay? Uh, <clears throat> once you start one, you have the whole week to do this, the week of 6th, April 6th. This will be open the entire week. Um, so you can choose to take the, uh, like I said, the uh, vacation off and come back and study early in, in the week of the 6th and take it later. But once you start one section, you have to finish it. So you can't come back and finish it later. So you can do part one on Tuesday and come back and do part two on Friday if you want. But once you start one, you, you've got to finish it, okay? Uh, please, any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you.